வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு கான்வர்சேஷனல் தேமில் லெசன் ஒன் இன் திஸ் லெசன் வீல் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு குக்லி ஸ்பீக் தேமில் த்ரூ இங்கிலீஷ் அண்ட் வீல் ஜஸ்ட் லுக் இட் சம் ஜென்ரல் ரூல்ஸ் அண்ட் தேமில் கிரீட்டிங்ஸ் ஹவு டு அட்ரெஸ் ஃபேமிலி மெம்பர்ஸ் அண்ட் சம் சிம்பிள் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஸோ வீல் ஜஸ்ட் யூஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் டு ரெப்ரஸன்ட் தேமில் ஸோ யூ டோன்ட் யூ டோன்ட் ஹாவ் டு நோ ஹவு டு ரைட் ஆர் ரீட் தேமில் டு ஃபாலோ அலாங் and just like english there is no gender for inanimate objects in tamil uh now there are two ways that you can speak tamil one is formally and the other one is informally so let's say you're speaking to elders or vips um then you can speak formally and whenever we encounter such a sentence there will be an f denoting that and similarly you can speak informally and you can just use this to speak to your friends or uh people who are younger than you then there would be an i denoting such a sentence uh pronunciation is really important for a person to understand you when you're talking uh, tamil so here uh we have a few examples now if you know uh another indian language you will know what i mean by hriswaswar and dhirghaswar so what that means is two different ways of pronouncing the same sound so you see you have a um, couple of examples here the first one is la versus la and the second one is na versus na so you can see that i've highlighted the second case um uh, as red and it's uh, capitalized so that's when you know you have to stress a lot on the sound so the next thing we'll look at is greeting so how would you say hello and ask a few questions just start um uh, making a conversation in tamil so hello or hi is uh, uh vanakkam but it's really not wrong to say hello or hi uh, you know these days are a lot of uh, english words mixed in tamil but the right way is to say vanakkam see you later um this is not very often used but uh, you can say paaklam or aprama paaklam now aprama paaklam means see you later paaklam is just see you um paaklam is actually also used in a different context but you know we can worry about that later on um let's say you have guests and you'd like to welcome them you can say ulla vaanga if you want to be formal or ulla va you know if you're just calling your friend or you say you know come inside or ulla va okay and thank you would be nandri now again uh, some people say nandri vanakkam it's not necessary to use vanakkam again after nandri but thank you would simply be nandri uh some more greetings um how are you in english would be formally in tamil would be uh eppadi irukinga informally that would just be eppadi irukka okay and the answer uh let's say is i'm fine so you can say nalla irukka nalla irukka let's say you want to say it has been a while seeing you or it has been a while uh talking to you then you would say romba naalaachu paathu or romba naalaachu pesi so paathu is seeing and pesi is talk so romba naalaachu paathu or romba naalaachu pesi the next slide uh, family members so mother is amma father is appa older sister is akka younger sister is thangachi older brother is anna younger brother is tambi uh some more uh, family members um i mean these are just you know simple words so grandmother would be referred to as uh, paati grandfather is tata daughter is magal son is magan young girl is um, called as ponna and young boy is payan some more simple words are there uh, in this next slide so food in general can be called as saapada water is referred to as thanni inside is ulla outside is velila so if you recall the previous uh, uh, slide we had ulla vaanga so that means come inside so ulla is inside and outside is velila yes is ama no is illai uh i know that looks like 3 l's but the first letter is an i so that's illai 
um, hot weather can be referred to as veil or sudo. Sudo is just, you know, um, hot temperature wise and cold weather can be referred to as kulir. Some more words, um, morning is kale, night is ratri, sun is suryan, moon is nila or vanilla, today is inika, tomorrow is nalaika, yesterday is neta and every day is dinamum or dinam. And uh, in the next slide, we look at how to address um, people in different ways. So, Mr. would be Tiru. And then, of course, you would add the name after that. And Mrs., generally referring to married woman, would be Tirumadi. Sir uh, would translate to Aya. Madam is Amma. A young man can be referred to as Kumar or Kumaran. Young lady is uh, Kumari or Selvi. A baby can be in general called as Papa. So this actually brings us to the end of lesson 1. I've hoped you've uh, learned a few words. In lesson 2, we'll look at uh, some more uh, question and answers. So I'll see you in lesson 2. Nandri, Vanakkam. Bye-bye.